Welcome back to my channel. Oop, wait a minute. Welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Royal Family. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. Doing amazing. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you guys are returning, welcome back. It's always a pleasure to have you guys here, okay? <clears throat> So this is going to be a general reading. I do not know what it's going to come out. I guess I never know what's going to come out. <laughs> this is just general energy reading, you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and tap in. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Woo. Impersonator. Someone wants to be just like you, Collective. They want to act like you, dress like you. They love your looks. This person, whoever this is, they just want to copy you. Who is this? Wow, this is somebody who their self-esteem is shot. All right, this is somebody who lacks self lacks. I'm here lacks self-love. Who is this person? This is somebody, maybe you blocked them already from like a um, you blocked them, or this person watch out from like a fake account or something like that. Wait a minute. It's somebody that you blocked. <clears throat> or that it's I'm I'm getting either you block them or they they watch you guys. They watch you guys from like a fake account, all right? This is somebody that that fake flex. They act like they got it together. They really don't. They don't have it like that. Does somebody act they act fancy, they real show offy. They real biggity. They not they not really like that. All right. For real, for real. Y'all too busy winning. That's crazy. <clears throat> too busy winning. And um Queen Rising energy is here. Mm. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. Y'all got somebody that sitting up in their feelings, collective. Watching you, watching you win. Look at this. Looking you up. Researching you, studying you, getting information on you. Y'all got somebody that's researching y'all, looking y'all up, trying to get the inside scoop. What's going on? Who is this bitch? Who is this? Oh my goodness. Crying over you. Then you got a masculine here that's crying over you. So I'm not going to lie. I think this is a female that want to be you, but mad that they not you. Um, they watch you from like a fake account or something like that. This is somebody that's looking you up, researching you, and they real salty about what they found out. Then, you know, you don't care because you too busy winning. This is somebody who, um, they carry on like they have it together and they don't, right? And then you have a masculine that's crying over you, wanting to chase you, wishing you would chase them or something. Somebody got some screenshots or some evidence on somebody. What is this, Holy Spirit? What is what is going on? Reflecting and stalker. You got this person from the past. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was going to come together. So you got, <clears throat> there's a feminine energy here that is reflecting. Like all this person do is sit up and think about you. 
and they think about this masculine that's crying over here all right and then you got this this masculine that's stalking you watching you you know and they're connected to this karmic crazy lover here who is dangerous to that person anyway this is a very possessive karmic energy here who's infatuated with you guys collective Fishing for compliments. So this is somebody, like I said, their self-esteem is low. This person's self-esteem is real low. They always fishing for compliments. They want to be you so bad. They be all in your comments, you know, turning their nose up at the, at the comments that you guys get. Like, what is this? Wow. Searching. Fact check. Anytime you post something, they try to go and do a fact check to make it seem like you lying. <clears throat> never has it never has the facts they make shit up somebody that lies they have to make stuff up their whole life is a lie wow this person is holding a grudge because they're getting some type of bad karma this masculine could have got bad karma both of these people could have got bad karma you a bad b though yeah you bad somebody tried to block something with cock blocking energy somebody tried to block something from you or you, you a bad dude or you a bad girl. Yeah, this person wants you back. And if you're dealing with a woman, she's definitely her masculine energy. Somebody wants you back. They are going through it financially, though. This could have been a part of their bad karma to struggle financially. Yeah, but uh, what? They could have walked away from you for this person. They could have left y'all in the energy of reflecting at one point about what happened. It just happened so suddenly. You wasn't expecting this person to treat you like this, to turn on you or something like that. This person got some karma. Somebody got some type of bad karma here. Extra trigger, cyber bullying. So whatever, whatever your ex and their karmic is seeing online on your page, on your Instagram your Facebook, your YouTube, it's got them extra triggered, extra triggered, okay? Somebody could have tried to cyber bully you, this karmic female that's connected to your person, tried to cyber bully you and it didn't work because you know, I mean, hey, come on now. <laughs> you are that B. You're like, come on, you're not even going, you didn't even address it. You know, some, some things you just got to ignore, you know? And when you reach a certain level vibrationally, energetically you learn to just ignore people so you didn't even come in back you didn't say nothing back you didn't address it or nothing like that and it's got this person extra trigger they're extra triggered because they can't get under your skin mm. somebody could have caught a, a case of a sexually transmitted disease here what is this holy spirit let me um let me use where's my other cards at i'm gonna use I'm gonna use these. Look at this. You the goat. <laughs> you the goat. You the greatest of all time. And this person wants you to themselves. They walked away from you and went towards this karmic energy here, this insecure karmic who compares her, him or herself to you guys collective all the time. This person wanna marry you. This person is realizing, you know, you're the one that they want to share their world with. I feel like you guys kind of helped this person heal some type of childhood trauma. Yeah, I feel like your person went through some type of sexual trauma with child neglect and sex only please energy here. This person made y'all feel like all they wanted from you guys was just sex. And this is why you don't trust this person, but this person do miss you. They did walk away. They definitely went towards this other situation. Somebody who was putting on a front, like they had something that they didn't have or... You know, like they, they, this person was trying to, this person was competing with you, competing with you, and you didn't even know it for your masculine or your feminine's time and attention. And I feel like they did get this masculine or feminine away from you. I don't know what they did, what they said. You know, your person took the bait like a duck, you know. But now your person is, they don't, they're saying you're not going anywhere. They don't want y'all dealing with nobody else. This person is realizing that they love you, but it's these secrets. They feel like if you find out what these secrets are, you guys are going to completely move on. Low self-esteem and insecure. Bisexual, same-sex energy here. So, <coughs> excuse me. Wow, yo, so, okay. Spirit is telling me that this karmic knows that your person may be into the same sex for some of you guys. And they don't want you to find this out. You don't care none about that. I mean, you don't care. 
I don't feel like this is a very judgmental crowd. You just would rather this person just be honest, right? Just tell the truth. So it's like this karmic thing. They got ammo over this person. You really don't have nothing. Because if you know, if somebody loves you unconditionally, they accept you for who you are. You really ain't got no ammo. You thought you had ammo. You don't have ammo. Yeah, sex addiction, sex addiction or porn addiction, you know. So somebody got caught up. Somebody has a sex addiction. I really feel like it's your person. They hide this. And this karmic energy allowed this. This is why your person needs to heal. Heal this childhood trauma. Something happened to them when they were younger. Early childhood development energy. Something happened to your person when they were younger. Someone abused them. Yeah, your person needs to recover from this energy. They need to recover from this trauma. You know. So that they can pretty much show up for you in the way that you deserve. This person can't stand the fact that you are a free agent here. This weighs on this person's mental space. It weighs on their mental that you are single. Your person could have been behaving like a gold digger. I'm telling you, I feel like it was money that lured your person away from you. Finances, right? They got instant karma for that, though. Yeah. They would entertain people who could do stuff for them. See, third party involved entertaining other options they were entertaining people who they feel like could do stuff for them financially it was a karmic lesson it was a karmic lesson you know there's a lot of rumor, rumors and gossip surrounding your person this karmic is, is holding something over this person's head something about them in a sneaky link or somebody having a sexually transmitted disease tell me more yeah mm. See, this person fear commitment. This is something that they're working on too. They're struggling with this because they want to be, they want to show up for you guys in a righteous manner. They don't want to come towards you as a snake. You feel like this person is a snake and that they have not changed. Yeah, you feel like they're wearing a mask and they always act in lust and all the time. Everything is about, you know, just skin surface with this person, right? Just sex only energy here. But this person is appearing nonchalant. And they're acting like they don't care that y'all not talking, that y'all not reaching out to this person, that you know you to move forward with your life. But this person is watching y'all and stalking y'all like a like a I heard like a thief in the night. Yeah, they're obsessed and they are infatuated with you. They can't stand this karmic because they feel like they got bamboozled. They feel like they got tricked <clears throat> by this karmic energy here. This karmic was not all that they said that they were. This person feel like they got played. They got finessed. You the real deal. Look, I can't stop looking at your social media. Yeah, that's crazy when your ex and their new person or whoever they're dealing with, both of them are obsessed with you. That's sad. That's really, really weird. You know, this person realizing that they did sabotage a great thing between you guys. This person dream about being under you all the time, touching you, kissing you. This person regret playing with your heart. It cost them everything. It cost them the love of their life. They regret being greedy. You know, this person wants you to be happy. They they know that you do deserve happiness, but I'm not going to lie. They're selfish. They don't want you to have it with nobody else but them. This person fantasize about the next time you guys are intimate with them. <clears throat> they feel like you, you and them are like king and queen energy. Perfect match. This person has loved you the whole time, but their ego would not allow them to express this to you. You know, anytime you would ask them, this person would lie. They would try to downplay um, what they feel. Y'all put in a lot of time with this person. I'm hearing up to two years or more with this person. This person is afraid of how weak and vulnerable you make them feel. This person's very fragile when it comes to you. Like if somebody bring you up, this karma bring you up. This person just, well, they want to snap. You know, this person, they it's like they tell this karma, don't you mention them, don't talk about them. Like, you don't even compare to collective. You know, like, keep their name out your mouth. This person is in awe of how you've changed them, how you help them to transform. You know, this person, they're curious, do you even think of them anymore? Because y'all don't be reaching out to this person. You make this person feel alive, you know. They wish you would give them, like, a sign to let them know that it's okay to reach out. Or, you know, it's okay, y'all, you're not mad with them anymore. This person is still trying to grow spiritually so that they can meet you guys where y'all are. They want to meet you where you are. This person feel like you are their soulmate. You're their everything. This person feel like you are an angel, like you were truly a blessing to their life. But they did drop the ball. They went after something that was 3D, something that was superficial. And, you know, now they feel unworthy of your love. 
they feel like they just don't deserve all the good things that you have to offer so they keep themselves stuck and restricted from you guys you know <clears throat> they see you being financially and spiritually blessed here they see that you y'all have a lot of options in your life right now yeah because and it's like they want to be a part of this energy they want to be a part of this they see that your life is very fruitful you're very abundant that's because you know you are a good person you lead with a pure heart that's why you lead with a pure heart Ooh, spirit is wanting you guys to get into more meditation. Set aside time for meditation and prayer every day. Every day. I don't care if it's nothing but five, ten minutes. Every day it makes a difference. Command your day, they say. This person cannot rest. This person is, is suffering from like headaches. This person is having like migraines. Poss possible blood pressure issues but they're stressed out over these this karmic situation and they're stressed out over losing you and watching you move forward with your life you guys ignite a passion and a fire in this person that has never been like it it won't they can't put it out they can't put this fire out and they've tried you make this person confront their shadow side you make this person look at themselves for who they are you know and this person is like I'm here like I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I said that. This person is keeping themselves trapped in fear. They're keeping themselves trapped in, away from you guys, you know, out of guilt. Out of guilt, literally. Wow, you guys have some big financial and material changes that's coming along for you guys. <clears throat> this person is worried that you're not going to recognize them or you're not going to... I'm here to recognize them as your lover anymore. Like you don't, you're not going to give them their title anymore. That you're going to meet somebody better than them. Somebody that can provide for you and show up for you emotionally. And that's going to be your good karma. This person's fearful of you receiving your blessings, your good karma. You know? Oh my God. Why do these come out together? Wow. Man, this person, all they do is sit up and watch y'all. All they sit up and do is stalk you guys. And didn't I say, oh my God, I said it's two people that's stalking you guys. All right, the Page of Swords is stalker energy here. Some You got two people that watch you guys obsessively who need to get a grip. And I know it's your past person and their karmic. And this is being hidden. They do this shit in, in secret. They do this behind the scenes from fake accounts, you know? They thought they was going to work together with this person. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. This Your person has been stagnant in their life ever since they betrayed you. This is communication. Wow, y'all are going to get some type of divine communication from source about this person's karma. You're going to hear about it, read about it. You're going to dream it. You're going to see it. Yeah, this person is very much burdened and weighed down. Like, you're, you being blessed and healed and, you know, moving forward with your life. And then this karmic turning out to be everything that they said that they, um, this karmic turning out not to be what they said they was, was a betrayal to this person. Your person feel like I left my true love, the person that was really down for me to come over here and be with you. And you a fraud. You a fake, you a phony, you a con artist, you a scammer. Your person got scammed. Yes, they did. Now they're burdened. It's going to be a longer journey to get back to you. It's going to be harder to get back to you guys. It's like, it's crazy because now they know who you are. But y'all ain't stressed out over this person no more. That's that's on them. Hey, that is on them. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comment section down below what you know. All right. Also, don't forget to purchase your um, Never Broke Again all, you guys. While it is still in stock, it leaves so fast. All right. Love and light. Peace.